Thank you. Uh, the only way to follow wonderful works by Steinbeck and Ginsburg is with my selection, Everything You Need to Know About Sexual Abstinence by Barbara Moe. And this is for me, uh, talking about a book about sexual abstinence. Um, I mean, I don't want any books banned. But I think if you're going to ban a book, this would be a good one. I think I feel like someone from the ACLU having to defend the Klansman or something. I mean, I think I should get this off the shelves. Uh, this book was banned in uh, Louisiana. I'm not sure exactly why, but I think it had big words and all. <laughs> I'm going to read from, uh, from a chapter entitled How to Say No. Remember, most teens don't plan to have sexual intercourse. It just happens. If you want to be sure it doesn't just happen to you, be prepared. How do you say no when the pressure is intense? One way is to be ready for any situation. Practice some of these responses to other persons come on lines. You can use these or make up some of your own. Then you'll never find yourself at a loss for words. Line, if you really love me, you do it. Response, I do love you. That's why I don't want to mess up our future together. You have to respect a 12 year old who's concerned about her future. Line, what's wrong with you? Don't you like men? That's pretty loaded right there. Uh, response, yes, but I know what I want, and for now it's not this. I'd like to be heckled by a bus, please. Ryan, I'd love to have your baby. Response, you're a sweetheart, but I'm too young to be a father. Ryan, you're my one and only. Response, good, then there's no hurry for sex. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Ryan, you're still a virgin? Response, for sure and proud of it. Your hard sell. <laughs> That's one of the ones that you might want to make up on your own for and toss that rascal out. <laughs> Line, don't worry, I'm not old enough to be a parent. Response, if you're old enough to have sex, you may become a parent whether you like it or not. I didn't learn about prophylactics there, I guess. Line, abstinence is no fun. Response, neither is being pregnant for nine months. What could be worse than that? Well, pregnant for 36 months, but there isn't a book about elephant sex. So we move on to the next chapter. This is a, a couple of fellas in a uh, locker room, and uh, one guy wants to have sex, and the other guy's trying to help him not to have sex. And uh, so he tells him uh, what to do. Any kind of exercise, an hour of swimming, running, basketball, or tennis will give you a different kind of high. Take a hike, go dancing, or pump iron. Here's the conversation. They're Will and Joe. Will, I feel horny all the time. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Joe, that's normal. Will, sure, but what can I do about it? Joe, shoot baskets. <laughs> Honestly, this is where Joe should have been punched in the face for that pretty lousy retort. Will, what? Joe, exercise, jump rope, shoot baskets, lift weights, play soccer, volleyball, do something. Will, will it help? Joe, foolishly. Yeah, exercise reduces tension, takes the edge off. Will, I don't want to ruin my sex drive. I just want to control it. Joe, exercise helps. It also makes you feel better about yourself. Shoot some baskets. And quite frankly, if I shot baskets every time I was horny when I was 12, I'd be in the NBA. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of the readings.